Tonight, our big story on 12 News at 10, what seemed to be a heinous crime turns out to be a more traumatic situation. A woman appearing before a judge just moments ago after giving birth to a baby last week, then allegedly throwing the baby's remains in the trash. New tonight, law enforcement and even court officials are now saying this is just a tragic situation that may lead to felony charges. Team Tolls Ryan Cody has been at the 4th Avenue jail for most of the afternoon and Ryan even the court officials are now saying that this is just a tragic situation that may lead to felony charges. Yeah, that's right. The new details and new developments in this case paint a picture of what seems like a horrific situation inside this bathroom at the Amazon facility where this woman worked and she claims she didn't even know she was pregnant until she gave birth to a stillborn baby. And then after that, possibly panicked and threw the baby in a trash can. It is a death investigation at this time. We have located and uh, spoken with the mother. And we're now learning that mother is 22 year old Samantha Vivere, who told police she gained about 15 pounds, but didn't know she was pregnant until giving birth to a stillborn child inside a bathroom at this Amazon facility in Phoenix. One count of abandoning or concealing dead body or parts. That's a class five felony. Vivir saying very little to a judge hours after her arrest, but a prosecutor recommending her release. He was unaware of her um, of her condition. She uh, herself caused no harm uh, to the uh, to the stillborn, as contained in the uh, current facts. Her charge refers to an Arizona law which prohibits moving a dead body with the intent to conceal, which court paperwork says she did to hide the birth from the baby's father and the judge showing sympathy to what seems like a traumatic situation. Well, it may be offensive to people to assume that you just wrapped up a baby and put it in the trash can. At this point, there is nothing indicating that you actually harmed that baby. I don't know if there will be something coming up later or not that says that, but for right now, based on the facts that I have and based on the charges that I have, it is appropriate that you be released on your own recognizance, and that's what I'm going to do. Vivir is still inside the 4th Avenue jail right now, but we're expecting her to be released to her family who is here in any minute or so. She is still facing that felony charge for unlawful disposal of human remains, but does get to go home tonight. We're live in Phoenix, Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10.